So I'm here with Josh Blair to talk about the Work Styles Initiative at TELUS. So Josh, can you start by telling us a little bit about how people are working today, both at TELUS and outside of TELUS? Well, people are working differently today, and that's what Work Styles is all about. People are starting to work from many different locations, many different cities in some instances, and other people are choosing to work from home on a part-time or a full-time basis. So that's the genesis of the Work Styles program. And what exactly is Work Styles? Work Styles is recognizing that uh, TELUS team members are working in one of three different ways. Uh, number one would be they're a resident worker, which means they have an office they're at on a regular basis. Number two, we would call them a mobile worker, which means they're in different locations, different cities on a regular basis. And the final category is a teleworker, someone who works from home, largely on a full-time basis. And what are some of the benefits to team members adopting one of these work styles? If you're a team member, uh, there's a few benefits. Number one, um, you've got a lot more time. If you think about, say you had an hour commute every day to and from work, you could see yourself saving 200 hours a year that you could have back for yourself, back for your family, back for your hobbies, whatever. Um, often team members really enjoy that freedom of, of being at home and uh, having uh, you know, a, a focused work setting. Uh, you also can contribute to the environment in a big way. Um, the average teleworker can save up to 3,000 kilograms of uh, carbon dioxide emissions a year. So there's a lot of pride and uh, contribution in that, if you will, too. I've heard there can sometimes be challenges when you're changing to another work style. Can you tell us a little bit about that? The biggest challenge, I believe, in adopting a new work style is not having that home away from home where you've got your photos of you and your family or you and your friends. But what I've heard from so many individuals is the benefits quickly far outweigh that small con, if you will. And they develop a nice office within their home. They save all that commute time. They are very um, thrilled by what they're doing to help on the environmental footprint front. And so quite quickly, it just becomes a, a wonderful quality of life change for them. Josh, what gets you excited about work styles? What gets me excited about work styles is uh, many things. It's, it can improve the quality of life for individuals, it can reduce our footprint on the environment, and it can help the company save money that we can funnel to other uh, important items, important initiatives. But at the end of the day, uh, it's really about moving information and ideas instead of people and cars. And is there somewhere I can go to find out more information if I wanted to consider this? Yeah, if you're looking for more information, I would say two things. Number one, speak with your manager. You need to figure out if it works for you and your team. And number two, there's a great work styles portal on the MyHR site, and it will tell you everything about how do you set up a home office from an ergonomic perspective? Uh, how do you interact with your manager when you're not in the office on a regular basis? You know, what are some of the other considerations? So it's a, it, it's a great portal, tons of information, good for you and good for your manager. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us about work styles. I appreciate it. My pleasure, and uh, I hope a lot of people are able to adopt a new work style and that it really brings uh, good things to you in your life and you're pleased with what it does for the environment and the company, too. All right. Thank you. Thank you.